We're just gonna show you guys what we're doing on a sick day and it's raining outside. It's an awful day. We're cooped up in here and that's why it's kind of a disaster. We had hoped we would have been vlogging our big bear trip, but it's gotta get healthy. Well, it's only 8.30 in the morning and our house looks like a tornado hit it because we have pretty much been up since one with a sick little girl. Oh, here she comes. She's gonna tell you guys all about it. Guys, me and Daddy are sick. Yeah, Daddy's a little sick too. At 9.15, I'm going to the doctor and if Dad's sick tomorrow, he is going to go to the doctor. Should we tell them we were supposed to be going to Big Bear tomorrow? But we're not doing that anymore, are we? We're gonna go sledding though another time. We told her we're still gonna go sledding, but we just had to cancel our big bear. We're gonna go to the doctors. She had 103 fever last night, coughing like crazy. So we're gonna go to the doctor, see if she needs to be on any antibiotics, and then just try to get this girl healthy, because even though it'll be after Christmas when you watch <coughs> this, right now, it's only a few days till Christmas. So we want this girl healthy. That's why we're not doing Big Bear. We're just gonna show you guys what we're doing on a sick day, and it's raining outside. It's an awful day. We're cooped up in here, and that's why it's kind of a disaster. We had hoped we would've been Mommy, vlogging our Big Bear Mommy, trip, but I got just gotta get healthy. Oh no. Oh, you're feeling a little warm again. Might have to do another dose of Tylenol. Layla wants to check the vlog's heart. Oh, there we go. How does it sound? Can we show everyone what this is? A stethoscope. The stethoscope we made. So thank goodness we have about <laughs> three kiwi, or not kiwi, yeah, kiwi crates that we haven't done yet. And so we've been doing those. Guys, guess we have about what? two more projects left. Guess and this what, was guys? one of them. This is not even real, but you can hear your own heart. I know, you can actually hear your heartbeat through this. It's pretty <coughs> cool. So that was a Kiwi crate that we had, and we have two more that we can do. We're just gonna come up with a lot of things to keep them entertained, but at the same time, that won't exert a lot of energy, because we gotta get this girl healthy before Christmas. We have about 45 minutes before we leave for the doctor, so I guess we're going to go ahead and do a kiwi crate. Layla, since we were talking about it, now she wants to do one, so we're gonna do yes, some other ones. I know, I'm trying to fix it, but it's kind of gotten funky. She wants to show you one she already made. This box is all about hydraulics. Okay, so see, it's not colored, and then she uses the water to push it up, and now it's colored. The next one we're gonna make is Something making like a moving worm with water. And we're gonna try to do this before her doctor's appointment. I don't know if Angie <coughs> will let us. Angie likes to get up and mess with all this. We might have to start it now and finish it later. Here's our worm. So push and pull that one on your hydraulic system and it should make the worm, ah, see it makes him wiggle. You're just controlling that with the power of water. But now we can also make a little track for him, apparently. So we're only halfway done. That's pretty cool. All right, moment of truth, Layla. Let's see if he moves on the little track. Can you start controlling it again with the water? Oh. the doctors is actually very fast and kind of afraid of what I thought it was gonna be not much they can do um, it's just something viral you can't take any medicine for it but they did call in a prescription she has like a little rash around her face so we got that checked out again so steroid for her face just lots of rest and that is a hard thing to do with this little girl but they did do a COVID and a flu test and they're gonna be calling us back with the results for that later. So at least we kind of know if it is something or if it's just something, some random virus. So I'm gonna go put Angie down. Angie's gotta go down for a nappy and then we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do the rest of the day. Sissy's laying down too. <coughs> Making a little comfy bed for Sissy. Oh there. Oh, look at that. Now you can reach in everything. You got the remote. We'll get you some snacks. It looks like Angie's bringing you some coloring books. That is very nice, Sissy. So Angie's sleeping. 
Layla rested for a while and I made sure she stayed on the sofa on her little bed and rested. Now we're gonna do something that's very low key. We thought it'd be fun and Christmassy. We're making homemade um, edible Play-Doh, but since it's almost Christmas, yes, we're making it gingerbread scented. So it should be pretty good. It's just like flour, salt, cream of tartar, and then a whole bunch of seasonings, um, like cinnamon, nutmeg, and a whole bunch of things to make it smell really good. You can eat it, you can eat it. I know, so exciting. So we don't have any cloves, but that's okay. We got enough good smelling stuff in there. And then after this, we can add food coloring if we want, but I think it's already gonna be brown, and that's perfect for gingerbread. But I really want to color it red. Oh, you want it to be red? Okay, we can do red. Looking super red. I can't believe you're eating that. Blah. Guys, you can eat this, remember that? And it's salty, and I love salt. Okay, so yes, it's edible. You can eat it, but it is so salty. I took a bite, because like she was like, it's so good, Mom, taste it. And I was like, oh, it does smell good. I took a bite. Oh my God, I thought I was going to throw up. It is so salty. I like salt, but not this much. That is a lot. Oh, she's going for more now. All right, now, this is kind of a weird part. We have to microwave this now for a minute, okay? And maybe more. So that was a minute. Now we gotta stir it and then do it again. And you keep doing it in like 15 second intervals until it pulls away. Okay, this looks like it definitely pulled away. <laughs> now you're supposed to knead it, but we gotta let it cool because it's super hot right now. Kind of feels nice though, doesn't it? <laughs> we got some Christmas cookie cutters. Go ahead and go to town, girl, and have some fun with that. You might need to roll it out a little bit more, but that's okay. That's just gonna be a really thick snowman. I'm gonna play too, I like Play-Doh. Look, we can make like an actual snowman. I'll make the base. I'll make the bottom. You're gonna make the bottom? I'm gonna make the top. There. Gotta kind of smush that, it on. That's a little. There, it's a little head, that looks great. Which one are you doing next? Snowman. Oh, where's the Christmas tree? Oh, here it is. Got a Christmas tree too. All sorts of things. This Play-Doh turned out really nice. So easy to make too. Now, I do not want to eat these. Because they're too salty. So remember when you put those on, here's a little baking lesson. Try to get as close to the edge as you can and then pull away. It's another thing we could do. Although if you're coughing, I don't know if we should, but I have some Frozen sugar cookie batter, like homemade sugar cookie. Maybe I could make those and she could decorate a couple her, for herself. <laughs> Poor thing, that wore out. She's resting again. I'm gonna clean up this mess, do a few things while she rests. She finally fell asleep. I'm so glad she fell asleep because she's been up since like two this morning and it's now about 12.30. So thank goodness she's sleeping. Angie is still sleeping. I don't know what to do with myself. Like this never happens that they're both sleeping at the same time. So I'm wondering if maybe I'll put out just a little bit of sugar cookies that we can roll out later and decorate and bake. Uh, just a little something to do this afternoon. I'm just trying to think of easy things that she can do while she's sitting. I made this dough the other day and I have it, it's all thawed now, so maybe I'll just set some out and have like a little area set up that they can play and do this with when she wakes up. Well, Angie is obviously awake. She took a good nap and she is dancing to D Billions behind me. She loves D Billions. And somehow Layla is still sleeping. And she keeps wondering what's going on. She'll go up to Layla and go, shh. That's a coloring book. Oh. I was sitting here thinking I'm going to wait for Layla to wake up to make the cookies, but then I thought I probably don't want her germs on them. So I'm gonna go ahead and make them and then she can frost them. And one little secret that I do is I always put roll out the dough and powdered sugar instead of flour, because I just think it makes it that much better. I was gonna see if there's Brian checking on sweet Layla. She's still sleeping. Does she feel warm? Does she? And then there's our crazy little one. I know, she's not waking up. And Angie's just having a blast dancing with her popsicle. She wants her sissy to wake up so badly. You know, you gotta let her sleep. I know, baby, you want her play. I'm gonna check her temperature real fast, because she feels very hot. Layla, Mama's gonna check your temperature. 
We're gonna try. <coughs> yeah, I'll probably use this other one first. Yeah, sometimes I feel like this one doesn't work as well. Oh no. 103. Yeah, you're sick, girl. Taking her Tylenol now. Oh, and look what daddy's got. Knock that out and I got it for you. Chips and dip, her favorite. Poor thing, she has not much of an appetite, so if she's eating something now, that's okay. And when we make our chip dip, we use Greek yogurt, and then we just put the French onion mix in it. So she's getting a lot of good um, like probiotics and protein in that Greek yogurt. We're going to start making the sugar cookies now, so they're ready in a little bit for her. I know she's sick when she won't even eat chips and dip. She actually wants to go lay up in our bed right now and watch TV, I think without Angie. <laughs> and I'm bringing up her water for her, get her all situated and she doesn't even want to decorate cookies. Bless her heart. All right, now Angie, mommy's gonna take you out of here so Sissy can rest. Mommy, really, where I want Angie to go, just on the ground in the room. Oh, oh, you guys are so cute. <laughs> oh, are you trying to be like your sissy? I might as well give the cookies and then I can come up. Oh, might as well do the cookies first and then come rest. There's my Layla. She's in there still. All right, we'll go frost cookies real fast and then we'll come lay up. We got it all set up and everything in here. come downstairs, but this is worth it, isn't it? Here, I'll set it down. Normally, I like to make my own homemade like royal icing when we do sugar cookies, but since we only did like four cookies today, I decided not to do that. Oh no, I just did the jar of frosting, which is still good, and Layla approved. Looking yummy. I have to use my finger, because it's really hard. I know, right? So it's I have hard. to use my finger. That's okay, it's your cookie, you can use your finger. Done with your cookie? Oh my god, oh, you got a little bite there, love. Well, that looks delicious. I love all the sprinkles. That's my favorite part. You can have it. That's good, you're still able to eat a cookie. I'm back to bed. Sissy, you're here for moral support, aren't you? <laughs> As you can see, both girls are in their jammies. <laughs> Layla has still had a fever today, but just woke up from a three hour nap. So that is fantastic. And I'm really hoping by tomorrow, she's a little better, maybe we can get out because we have three more days until Christmas and Brian is now off of work officially for the break. So we were hoping to do, you know, Big Bear and a bunch of fun family things. So she's still not great. So we're hoping, you know, she starts feeling better because she woke up again at two o'clock in the morning yesterday because her cough was waking her up. So it's like three nights in a row she hasn't slept. I just want her to be healthy for Christmas. So here's hoping tomorrow is a better day. Guess who is still up through the night last night? Yay! First night in three nights, but she's still coughing a lot. I know, we're painting. We're still staying inside all day, um, taking it easy. Cause we have two days, sorry, Angie's freaking out about something. What do you want? Do you want a nap? Better, oh, you want to, <laughs> you don't want Peppa Pig? So yeah, she's still coughing. We did a breathing treatment this morning and we still, today is Friday and Christmas is Monday. I think we're gonna be in the clear if we just take it easy today. So we got this paint thing set up. She said she wanted to paint today and we'll just do a few other things. Maybe watch some Christmas movies, just keeping her resting, right? And Miss Angie Pie seems in very good spirits. So hopefully we're gonna avoid her getting sick. So even though we didn't get to go to Big Bear, we're still having a super fun family time. We're gonna have a great weekend and a great Christmas, and I hope you all do too. And I hope everyone is staying healthy out there. Uh-oh, all right, now we got a tantrum. <laughs>